We're now going to talk about telephone etiquette, the most important tool in your household, in your business, um, in a hotel, whether you're working in reception or you're working in in-villa dining or you have to keep the phone on you all the time. How to answer the phone in a very professional manner. It's very important that you consider the following things when you are answering the phone. Number one, are you moving too fast? Are you going to be out of breath? And you're going to sound very, <sighs> that you cannot at all. So you have to breathe and look up so that you have a higher tone of voice. If we look down and we're on the phone, it's going to be more that's the kind of way. We want to go up with our voice. We don't want to throw our head to the top, but we want to sound much more politer and friendlier and happier on the phone. Now, when it comes to telephone etiquette, there's a sequence of things that you have to follow. You have to introduce the department where someone is calling. Thank the caller for calling. Following up with the caller if it's in Vala Dining. Repeat the order. Suggest things that go with the order. In a household, you will answer the phone politely and you will repeat what the person has said or asked of you and then say, thank you, is there anything else I can do for you? Now, we are going to play a role. I have Mr. West at the back. He's going to phone me and he's going to request something. And then I'm going to answer the phone and I'm going to do that within three rings. Very, very important to answer the phone within three rings. Before he calls me, let's just recap. You must sound very friendly, you have to be excited, and you have to listen to the caller. Sometimes it can be very difficult to hear on the other side. There are some words which you shouldn't say when it comes to answering the phone is, I can't hear you. You can say perhaps, may I call you back so that I can get a better line. Use polite ways to do this, or try to repeat what the person is saying or follow up afterwards with a phone call with some suggestive or answers that you can, suggestions and answers that you can follow up with the same request. Let's play a role. Good afternoon, welcome to the Butler Mansion. This is Newton speaking, how may I assist you? Good morning Newton. Good morning sir, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you for asking. Newton, is it possible to move my hair appointment to 4 today and make a reservation for me at the restaurant tonight? Excellent, sir. I will move your reservation for you to 4 p.m. for your haircut and then you would like to go to the restaurant. May I confirm the time? May we make it 7.30, please? 7.30, that's an excellent time. Would you like to have some aperitif drinks, perhaps a martini in your room before you go for, to the restaurant or at our bar? Wow, that sounds amazing. Maybe at my room or my villa. Excellent. So it will be one martini, dry or extra dry? Extra dry, please. Wonderful. Gin or vodka? Gin, please. Oh, excellent choice, sir. May I just repeat your order? We'll be moving your hair appointment. I just want to confirm to 4 p.m. That's correct. Excellent. And you'll be joining the restaurant at 7.30 and you will have a extra dry martini, which is a gin martini. Thank you so, so much. That's is great. there anything else I can do for you, sir? If you could maybe um, see when my laundry is done. Absolutely, sir. I will see your laundry is done. Is there anything you need to get specially laundered, but maybe valet service, a tie that needs to be tied this evening? Do you know how to fold a bow tie? Absolutely, sir. I will fold your bow tie for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Have an excellent day. Thank you. Very important that I had a pen and a notebook to write everything down so that I can repeat the order and use suggestive selling. When it comes to the mobile phone and you are working, I would like you to also use the same style when someone is calling you. Not just to say, hello, we don't want to answer the phone that way. Good afternoon, this is Newton speaking. And even if you know the person for 10 years, Say the same way, you sound professional and everybody will look up to you. And that's so important, telephone etiquette. Keep your phone clean, keep it charged and be very friendly and polite. You may not always get it right, but friendliness and the, the right attitude will be perfect in this world. I hope that you've learned something and I hope that you can apply it to your personal and professional life.